Okay, in this video, I'm going to do a quick highlight of the German systems. We got the Meeple Bills, the Inner Circle, the changes to the Monroe Doctrine, and the Reich Commissariats. I'll leave a link in the description to the dev diary and include chapters for everything here. Okay, first off, the Meeple Bills. So currently in Hearts of Iron 4, the Meeple Bills are a buff and a debuff. The changes kind of happen a little bit automatically. There isn't really a whole lot of micro you can do for it. It's basically just down to like timing when you take over Austria and, you know, do Sudeten and things like that. It looks like we are getting, we're getting some changes to this and things that we can actually, like focuses that we might actually be able to take to change this. Uh, considerable changes here where like you increase consumer goods factors increases by 3% per month up to 100%. That can be a lot. So methyl bills are, they're getting a big change. You know, if you're on war economy, that's an extra 10% consumer goods, just flat out. Not great. <laughs> okay. But it looks like we have some things here like uh, autarky and then we've got institute price controls. And it looks like you can actually reduce the increasing factor by 0.5. We have some options here where we can use a bit of political power probably to change this and give us other debuffs or uh, other buffs or debuffs. Again, we still have the seizing the gold reserves. This changes from Meeple Bills to Economy of Conquest, something you kind of manually. So in exchange for consumer goods, you lose compliance and, res and you gain resistance. Yeah. And then it looks like at a certain point, you can replace this Economy of Conquest with, I'm, I'm not going to pronounce this, but with basically like a, a resolved option. <laughs> and to get a bunch of bonuses there. So I'm thinking that there's gonna be a very optimal order to all of this. And I've got some new graphing software. I kind of look forward to, to making some videos on this. So yeah, we're, we're gonna see how this goes. Next up, we have the inner circle. I can't say a lot of this stuff on YouTube, but if you just look at where I point, so basically this guy's got himself uh, an inner circle and it looks like you can pick different options and probably depending on what bonuses you want or which way do you want to develop your build, you can get certain guys in that inner circle. Uh, like look here, if you pick this fellow here for one of your inner circles, lose a little bit of political power, but you get resource gain efficiency. Only three can ascend to the inner circle at the same time. You can swap them out depending on your current and future's needs. Okay. Yeah. And some of these are pretty good. Like production efficiency cap growth. These are very, very good options. Surrender limit. And, you know, uh, although uh, offensive war stability modifier. Yeah, that's quite good. But also it looks like one of the reasons why you would do this is you can swap out this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs the low life scumbag anyways, right? Surely. Yeah. <laughs> My big thing was I was hoping, I was hoping that you could do this on the other branches too. Cause like, this is a cool feature and I'd like to see it on more countries or alternate history branches. I don't know if they actually did it. Cause it does seem like it's, these are, this is a lot of content and I, I have a feeling I, they didn't do it for the other branches. You know, obviously this is the German DLC. So, you know, historical path is going to get well, the most content. The next one we have is the Monroe Doctrine. So there are changes. There were some with Trial of Allegiance uh, with the Monroe Doctrine. It's now kind of expanded. So, you know, the USA is trying to keep peace in the Americas, but it looks like Germany is going to have the option to do. Oh, actually, it's a little bit better than, than our current one. So it's currently there. It looks like you get some, like, honestly, this is a much better focus than we actually have. But. If after you've done this, it looks like you can destabilize the Monroe Doctrine. And with a little bit of political power, you can kind of get the German intervention into Argentinian politics, potentially get yourself a little foothold in South America by swaying some, some politics. All right. The last one, the Reich Commissariats or like the puppeting mechanics. Doing this focus here will allow for the special subject states and administration, administrative divisions in conquered territories, uh, so basically giving you these and protectorates. And it looks like there are a lot of them. <laughs> there are, I mean, there are quite a few. Prudible population from them, compliance based on that, leadership. It looks like they won't be straight up puppets like uh, with their own cores because they are going to have like some sort of compliance issue. So they would probably be like, I don't know, a colony state or something like that in, in the new countries, but... And yeah, here's, here's the map with every single option. So yeah, pretty much it looks like you can get something for mostly the whole world. It, this gives you options on how you want to play. I'm going to give the historical branch a lot of replayability. And honestly, I think this is what people wanted. This is what people want out of the, uh, pretty much all the majors to do stuff like this. So yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we're going to have to do a campaign and make the world look like this. Maybe, maybe a future stream or something. So that's going to be it for me. I've left a link in the description. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you feel like it, check out this video here.